Hi, this is Javan here at Fraptools and today we're gonna try to create a side chain within the Usta sequence. So I've set up this sequence here on the brain. So I've got a kick pattern on track two. You see that the pattern is just a series of 16 uh, gate playing in uh, unison with the beat. And I also added a 16th note pattern to create with uh, a white noise and a very fast envelope to create this sort of hi-hat. To be fair, I also pre-programmed a CVB track with a default uh, arbitrary value and uh, some variation index and the range so that at every stage I have a different uh, different range and I'm gonna patch it to the full CV input to animate the patch and also to be honest I may even set this pattern to just one stage that changes thanks to the variation index and range, which is okay. Let's see how they sound together. Quite groovy. Which is okay, but as you can see, either because of the bass line being so snappy through brain sauce being a circuit, it somehow, sometimes it clashes with the kick drum and clutter it up. Now, what I did for the hi-hats, I can do it also for the kick drum track. I can set it just one stage, okay? But now bear with me. My suggestion here is to create a two-stage pattern in track two. But I don't want this stage to play. I need a sort of an empty stage between this and this. Because my idea is to create a CVB track where I can slide from a low value to a high one. I'm gonna briefly demonstrate it on this piece of paper. Now, if I have two impulses, I want to create a sliding value from one to another and apply this CV to my bass line which is playing whatever it wants. But the point is that I cannot slide between two consecutive uh, kick stages because the, the point at which the kick drum strikes needs to be zero volt. So it cannot be simultaneously zero and ten say so I need to place my 10 volt somewhere earlier so that it can promptly jump back to zero whenever it is this stage. Now, this sketch is a mess, but hopefully you get the point. Now I'm gonna remove a gate from my second stage of the kick drum pattern. You hear that it's half the tempo and that's okay. Now I'm gonna double the speed of this track, set it to 1 to 2, back on track. And then I'm gonna select uh, CVB and dial a very high value in the second uh, stage and zero on the stage where the kick drum strikes. And then I'm gonna patch this CVB here can already perceive a sort of a pumping sound and then I'm gonna use the green color to slide from this to this now the transition now is quite sharp so I may want to add some offset here already a uh, reasonable side chain 
but I think that we can be even more precise than that. And my idea is to set the ratio to the highest possible value, 1 to 8. Too fast, of course. But if I set my clock, my stages to four time units each, I achieve the same pumping effect. And the cool thing now is that I can balance those two stages. And if I hold the course button before rotating the stage encoder, I'm gonna compensate this change over this one, as you can see. Now this is two and this is six, and now this is one and this is seven. So I have a faster side chain. Here. Or I can have a slower side chain by giving more attack here. That's a little bit too much. I think that we can stick around two and six, which sounds very good. And that's very, very groovy. And that is how we created a side chain with the Usta sequencer without using any external envelope or inverters. I hope you found this technique useful and I will see you next time for more ideas. Thank you.